But yeah, so we're just sharing our experience for the last half hour on our way to Lavinio in Italy. If we make it there with no, no petrol. Josh insisted we had enough to get there here and back. His mat is slightly off. <laughs> oh, look at that, boys. Boys, look ahead. You're going to ski on that later. Are you sure? No, Josh, we're about to not ski so you can, Josh. Dad's sending you off piece. Is it peace? close to the side and it actually encourages you with the wheel loosens up on one side so that's really helpful for driving on the other side of the road if you're not used to it which I'm not. Um, it does get easier once you've done it for a, a solid day it starts to get a lot easier it's a bit more automatic then but the first day is, is tough it's like learning to drive again especially with the lorries going past. Extra cap. Yes. Definitely the windiest roads I've ever driven on. With the most amazing views I've ever seen as well. What do you think boys? I think the personally. What do you think of the views? I like the views because of lots of mountains. Great. of the higher you get sort of thing.
shall I go in now? If you wish. Told you. What did I say? I said there'd be fuel at the top of the hill. In 150 meters, turn left to stay on Viron Error. Right, what side are we on? Your side. Take the next left to stay on Viron Error, then turn right to stay on Viron Error. Hello? Is it, is it on this side or that side? Doesn't it matter? The fuel cap is on this side. Yeah? Uh, okay. 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 Have they got to do it? Okay. So I literally spent a solid two minutes here looking for the button to the petrol cap on the car. I mean, as a driving instructor, I should, you'd think, know where it is, but it took me two minutes to find it. Uh, yeah, intense. So I spent this up 400% to get to the end. Grazie. Ciao. Grazie. Grazie. Can I just, something really, really important. Yeah. Right, everyone gets a guess at how much the fuel was for full tank. Uh, in euros. Bearing in mind we're in the mountains, so it's particularly expensive. Okay. Am I going the right way? 20 euros. Uh, Take the next right to stay on Viron Error, then turn right uh, onto FS 300 and go. So we've got 200. Euro. We've got, ooh, that's low though, that is, isn't it? Yeah. Ted? Yeah. What are you saying? Take 120, 260. How, How much did it cost for fuel, dude? Well, I had the last one, Jasper was like 260. No, I said 200. 200. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, Gobsmack to say, 34 euro. Get <laughs> 34 out. 34 euro, what the hell? Shut the front door. Shut the front door. That's not expensive. That's cheap as chips. <laughs> Couldn't fill dad's car up, which is, you know, a little 1.6. Couldn't fill Grace's car No, 70 quid. And we're in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. Mountains do that. Oh, do you think it's because it's tax free? Oh, it could be, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because it said on the side 1.27. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. But then you don't pay tax on it, maybe. No, yeah. So oh maybe wow, it that's insane. I told you we should fill up in the mountains. We're going the right way. Christ, that was a bit. Dad actually said we're in the mountains. Well, it is expensive. He was one trying pound. To trick you. It was expensive. One pound twenty-seven or whatever. But obviously, no tax on top. So I win. Mum's a winner. So that was a bit of a ball leg. Trying to work out what the fuel was. There's a button underneath here. But yeah, this is cool. We like it. We like it. Lavinio is in a tax-free zone, isn't it? What do you call it? It's non-taxo. What's it called? Non-taxo. <laughs> non-taxo. In what do you call it? The airport. It's uh, duty-free. Completely duty-free. All right. All right. It's a duty-free area, so that must be why the fuel and everything is supposed to be cheaper. But we'll see. We'll let you know more.
literally like once you get out of the car, you don't need the car again. Third garage, triple win. Once you get out of the car, you literally don't need the car again. I know, I imagine that we need to continue on SS301 for one kilometer. Thing though, won't we? Yeah, but I'm just saying it can't be that far distance wise. Wherever it is, once we're in Lavinio properly, then it's going to be very close. You know what I'm saying? this through a friend who goes skiing a lot and they've basically booked it for us so we have to go to the shop and pick the keys up off the owner of the apartment. In 300 meters at the roundabout take the second exit onto via Bondi SS301. the end of our vlog to Lavinia. We have just arrived here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a clue where we're going. So we sit here for a fair, maybe 10 minutes while I try and find the shop and walk around. Um, but it was an absolutely amazing holiday. We've booked it again, the same place for next year. Uh, first time skiing and yeah, we're booking straight again. Absolutely amazing, really brought the best out in everyone. Uh, so yeah, anyone that hasn't done it, highly recommend. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below.